Looks like the Osram decided to put up a fight. Uh-oh. Shit. I'm not interested in that right now. Stash when I need it. Whoa, look at this. We can't fully do this yet. I still want to see if I can get up to this tower. Machines. A trap. Looks like someone's been trying to keep this trail clear. Looks like it. Machine muscle. alone. We have nothing for you. We can't allow you up the mountain. I'm sorry. Well, where these people are, I guess they want to be left alone. For real? Man, I am making no progress. So what, do we need to just continue with the story? Is that what they're telling me? All right, screw it. Let's go down here and fight these machines. Last machine.
One less machine. <laughs> Holy God! Okay, dude, I got the message. Another one down. Nora's doing out here, but consider yourself old. We tried to hold off and wait for the vanguard, but one of them bristlebacks charged us. Next thing you know was a full-fledged fracas. Is everyone okay? We lost some good people, but we would have lost the whole quarry without you. Well, at least it's quiet now. Your ears ought to be ringing with a quarry at work, but Chain Scrape's whistle ain't blowing, so we're stuck picking up the pieces. You need the whistle to get back to work? Me and my crew were just little cogs out here. Can't lift a hammer till Olven blows that thing. Cause if we work without his say so, he'll ban us. And my people have been through enough. Olven holds that much power? He's got the money and connections to snuff our fires for good. Almost feels like we stood a better chance with the bristlebacks. What are you and your crew working on? We're supposed to be working Olven's claim, digging out stone to show our barren light. But the work stoppage and the bristlebacks cut us short. Never seen those blasted things in a thaw before. Where in Forge Fire did they come from? I'm not sure. At least not yet. I need to get going. Stay safe. Thanks to you, that might actually be possible today. I think I've cleared out most of the bristlebacks. Chain scraping it back to work now. I'll go give Olvent the good news. What is to? Then maybe this embassy can finally happen. Yeah, finally. Is there a campfire nearby? Is there anything cool that we can see here? I wanna know. I wanna know. I wanna know. I wanna know. I'm kidding. I'm not gonna start singing Blink 182. Hugh Corey. Look at this place.
I want to see what's at the top of this. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought I saw a hole I could drop into there. That's what she said! Ah. Scroll, academic notes written in precise Karja glyphs. My research regarding the crystal has been more successful than anticipated. I've made significant progress in the quest to learn what green shine is and thus where it can be found. Through the process of elimination, I can now state that green shine is not formed within rock, but on its surface. The quarry and nearby mine have given me an ample evidence to support this conclusion. The notion that green shine is formed through the application of intense pressure of te or temperature can therefore be discarded. Additionally, I've gathered sufficient proof of to denounce the religious idiocy that green shine is a gift of the sun and somehow springs into existence via green twilight flares. Rather, entire clusters of green shine can be found in locales the sun cannot reach, such as underground caverns. It is therefore safe to assume that sunlight is no factor in its formation. There does appear to be a correlation between green shine deposits and machine presence. However, the hypothesis that the crystal is formed as a side effect of canister leakage seems ever more alluring. The local Asaram stone workers seem to agree. They believe green shine to be a hardened state of blaze, a substance that I must admit has similar visual properties. Next step, devise an experiment whereby I attempt to transform blaze into green shine through artificial means. Note to self, acquire fireproof armor before testing begins. Here's our stash. Oh, we got some fast travel packs. Can we take some of these? Yes! I see that! That's no good. Can't use the pole caster on that. Uh, yes we can. I want it! I want it! Yeah. Give me! Okay, whatever, fuck it. Don't quite know what this is. You know what? Screw it. Let's go back. Time to get Elvin to blow the whistle, then Bodies to Baronite. Talk to Olvin. Still here, I see. I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Oh, there, not so fast. I'll have to send someone out to confirm the kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. It shouldn't take more than a day or two. <sighs> no. You blow the whistle, now. These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. Surely the delay- Either you do it now, or I will. Ah, I knew you could do it! Friends, gather around. The savior of Meridian has done now it again. What? The bristlebacks are defeated! You. What? Sound the whistle. Chain scrape is open for business! <laughs> and Olvind has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. Yeah! That's where I like it! Yeah! Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! 
Yeah! Don't you have an embassy to get to? Yeah. I guess I do. Merchants are now available. You can purchase new equipment, restock your resources, and sell unneeded items at merchants. Items and the valuables to sell categories are always safe to sell. Um, there are many types of merchants. Stritchers sell protective new outfits. Hunters sell powerful new weapons. Herbalists sell powerful potions. Cooks sell skill-boosting food. Other merchants have their own unique stock. Visit a new merchant whenever you encounter one. Finally! Hey, the chain scrapes back to work. Merchants should be open to trade. I should see if they have anything useful before I send Wadis off to Baron Light. Armor is my trade. Hmm. Skills, critical strike, and powerful attack. Why not? Buy and equip. Nor Huntress, this is the, uh... Eh. A garment for every purpose. Come on, Tell me I'm not seeing things. Is that the savior? Brought out only the good stuff for you, Red. Seeing as you got that whistle blowing. Hey, I've been waiting to get my lucky hammer fixed for days. You haven't done anything useful like getting rid of any bristlebacks, though, have you? Take your time. I promise you won't be disappointed. Damn, he straight up called her out. Fire hunter bow. Warrior bow, commonly used by Karja military. This fast firing bow. Uh, is best suited for close range encounters. We need fire arrows, so let's get this. And can we buy the warrior bow too? Resources, okay. Let's buy this too. Come back anytime. Now, can I get this fixed? I can fix your tools. Afraid there's no fixing you. <laughs> I am going to count as it's now available in your inventory. Use your focus to scan enemies and see if they are weak to fire. Hitting them with fire will build up your burning state. Once in state, they will set on fire and take damage over time. You look like someone in need of Cool. I mean, I, I pretty much know all this. Warrior bows are quick-firing, short-range bows. Unlike any bow, they deal maximum damage even when not fully drawn, but quickly lose accuracy at long distances. Dude. Dope. What about potions? Let's talk to this guy for the potions. I'm just trying to fully soak all of this in, you know? The wilds are different. Cleanse potion, a potent status removing and defense boosting brew made from plant and animal extract. The light colored liquid has a fresh crisp scent reminiscent of wet leaves after a rainstorm. An empty slot in the potion pouch is required to buy, craft, or pick up a potion. Um, cures all elemental and status effects. 30% elemental defense for 30 seconds. We need to stash away our, our regular potions. I'm going to try that out for a bit. Uh, we got to find our stash though first. I want to find Petra. Where is Petra? Somewhat irritated by my friend. outfits, armor. Better everything. Open your stash. Let's see. Um, our inventory. Here we go. Um, resources, tools. Uh, let's let's store these. Um. Coils. Alright, now let's try this this put these potions out. Alright, let's go talk to the cook. Wait, hold a minute. 
What is this? I gotta see what this is. This blue block. How do we get down there? Oh, this'll really boil their broth. I'll add a sprinkle of chili to their desserts. Help reverse. Hmm. Place more traps and tripwires in the field at a time. I guess we can just get the local stew right now. I want to see what this is. Machine strike. <laughs> I open my eyes up here, sister. 